Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I got this uh, D140 John Deere 22 horsepower motor and uh, it hunts at idle, backfires through the carburetor. Should have a carburetor kit. Uh, I'll post a number right here. Yeah, post in the comments below about your problems with these uh, carburetors uh, on these uh, 22 horsepower Brindis Rat motors. I'd love to, to read them and uh, see your solutions, uh, how you fix them or Maybe I can help uh, answer a few of your questions. Let me a little short list here. If the engine hunts at idle, could be the valves not seating, could be uh, not set right, the valve guide could have dropped, a bent push rod, a bent rocker arm, a dirty carburetor, a misfire, or timing, spark plug, etc. Uh, in bad intake gasket, uh, bad fuel, or lack of. Uh, backfire uh, can be caused by, like say, uh, Valves are not seating. Um, if they're not set or a, a, a guide uh, dropped and not allowing the valve to fully uh, open, that could cause a backfire. Bent push rod, bent rocker arm. Yeah, if, if it doesn't allow the valve to close, it could cause backfiring. And uh, a misfire, a timing, spark plug, etc., that could definitely cause a backfire. Yeah. And there's one more thing here. Uh, if you stick around near the end of the video, this is very important. I'll, uh, I'll reveal that one. I'm going to take this carburetor apart and, and check the gaskets. I'm going to take the filter cover off here. I'm going to remove this screw here. These four screws. These six screws right here. And I'm going to remove the fuel pump off. And this will pop right off. I'm gonna do a compression check on the side here and make sure the valve is seating. All right, I'll put it on. I'm gonna take the wire off the uh, solenoid here, the carburetor. Put the, put the throttle on full. One forty-three. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna take these four bolts off here. Fuel Take the throttle, throttle off, and the uh, and the choke arm here. I'll put that back in here. Yeah, these are garbage. All broken off and dried out. And they're definitely new ones. I take the bottom bowl off here. Jet. So this jet's got an O-ring on the inside. So if this uh, allows fuel to go through around here, that will cause the hunting. So anyway, let me take this out here. This carburetor looks pretty good. Let's take this off here. These things got holes in them. I'm gonna check them, make sure they're clean. Yeah, they look good. So I'm gonna turn this upside down. If these O-rings are bad, want they'll both pop out. So and they both popped out so my, i got a carburetor kit but i can only find one o-ring so i'm gonna just replace one one o-ring on one jet and i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use the jet on the uh, right side only. i'm gonna replace this gasket here 
Let me take this apart here. And take this out here. You gotta just do a little bit of time on each, each one. Because you can ruin the gasket. So I'm gonna turn this upside down here. And then this gasket seems to be okay. So I'll be alright to just take it all out here. Check out this gasket here. It looks, it looks good. There's a gasket behind here, and that's plugged. It won't allow fuel to go through and make it run rich and lean and all kinds of problems. And as you can see, that gas is in perfect shape. I'm gonna take this plate off here. Well, the fuel goes through up these tubes. They go through here and right in there and they go into each port right in there. And it drops from the top. There's two little holes back there. Right there and right there. And those two little holes are plugged could cause a lean condition and a hunting condition so we're gonna have to check make sure they're clean so I am going to take my tip cleaner here see if I could uh, put this through yep so it goes right through so that one's good That one's good. And there's a little slot here. You see it? That's that's good. And that's good too. You can drill those holes one size bigger. That might help. Mm. So, so I've got a bunch of drills here. Like that starts with 0.4 millimeter, 0.5, and goes all the way to a two millimeter. So I put a. I already put a 0.8 millimeter through these holes and went to. It went pretty good, so this is 0.9. And I feel a little bit of resistance there. So I'm just turning it in here. I don't really want to drill them out too big. I'm just gonna blow compressed air through all the ports here. That's yeah, nice and clean in there. So I'm gonna put a new gasket here since I had one. There, I'm gonna put this in here. Gasket looks pretty good. Okay, now we can put this plate. I'm gonna open her up a little bit, slide this plate in, and close it up like that. There we go. All right, make sure the gasket's nice and clean. I ran a drill and this side was one millimeter. This one was 0.9. So the bigger jet is on this side and it's the longest runner. So I know this is set right.
All right, I'll set my needle valve in here. Nice and good in there. So I got the new gaskets here. This is the the John Deere number and the Brig and Strat number. Just is uh, just the drop the LG. Here, right here. I'll put my throttle linkage in here. My bolts in here. for your solenoid here. Fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Can't forget the, uh, the hose back here. All right, that thing's back together. Choke on. If it's hunting or still backfiring, I've seen a baffle loose in the muffler. So the next thing I would do, I would take my muffler off and run it like that without the muffler. Then it could be a, this happened to me twice before, the baffle inside, inside the muffler was loose. And then another time was a, a mouse nest in there. <laughs> Must have been two or three living in there. It was plug solid. Yeah, got it all back together. Uh, things that uh, that wasn't in the uh, video is I did check the valves on the uh, right hand side uh, cylinder and they were okay. And I did the compression check and of course uh, that was good too. Another thing I did is I unplugged the kill wire on each coil. But it didn't make no difference so I plugged them back on. Because uh, they have diodes in there and uh, if one could be flaky it could cause misfire. But, uh, it was okay. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, press the uh, thumbs up below, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.